of hockey to talk about tonight, Mike. Yeah, some good news in hockey, some bad news in hockey, but it's definitely the end of an era for island hockey fans. Victoria Salmon King's surprising playoff run came to a screeching halt last night as the Alaska Aces capped off the series sweep of the Salmon Kings, winning 3-2 in dramatic fashion. With the WHL team set to move into Save on Foods Memorial Arena next fall, pro hockey's seven-year stint on the island has come to an end. It's the final curtain call at center ice for the Victoria Salmon Kings. The season is over. The only Canadian ECHL franchise is now part of hockey history. I don't even know what I was thinking, to tell you the truth. It was just, uh, your mind kind of goes blank and you're just trying to take it in. And, and uh, I guess the biggest thing was I was just trying to enjoy the moment, trying to enjoy, you know, the last time being out there for the fans. And... Yeah, it's, it's disappointing that, you know, it's the last game here uh, for the Victoria Salmon Kings. Uh, it's a first-class organization and... Uh, you know, it is disappointing. Though the Kings' inspirational playoff run captured the attention and hearts of the Victoria people, it ended in heartbreaking fashion, with former Salmon Kings forward Scott Howe scoring the game and series winner with only 34 seconds left on the clock. You know, we're celebrating at one end and they're saluting at the other. It's it's kind of tough that you almost felt like you were there or could have been there and, you know, it harder to still, you know, your team on the other side. So. It was, it was different. Are you speaking to Scott House today? Um, I uh, probably go see him later today. I think they're still in town and just uh, wish him good luck the rest of the playoffs. He's my roommate last year and uh, yeah, I gave him some bad words up in Alaska. But I think I'll wish him good luck and all the best in the future. Adam Taylor's pro career began with the Salmon Kings. He spent the better part of five seasons calling this place home. But when he and his teammates pack up for the summer, this time they know there is no coming back. The city is so good to them. The, the team is, uh, is very good to them. They're treated very well, and they all know it. And the hard part is that they can't come back. This year it's kind of like teaming, get your stuff and you're gone. Like, there's no one coming back. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's just... Uh, It'll be, weird. It'll be weird for next year, but, uh, you know, I think Victoria's looking forward to having a new team here, and, uh, yeah, it was a good seven years here. Where are you going to go next year? Where are you going? Oh, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. I don't even know what I'm going to leave Vic yet, so, you know, I'm, I'm the first and foremost the biggest fan of Victoria, so for, for people to come from, from around the country and, and around the states to be able to kind of spend some time and really... Uh, really enjoy the city and share the city together. I mean, that, that's something that's special. I think that's something that, that everyone will, will take with them uh, to wherever they go home and, and you know, on, on in their lives. Well, it's not just the Salmon Kings players that are left contemplating their hockey future. Original Salmon King and assistant coach Ryan Wade and Mark Morrison are left looking for work. Morrison took a franchise that struggled to ice a team in the first few years to a pro hockey haven for the players. I'm a Victorianite, and uh, the, you know the one regret I have is that we couldn't bring a Kelly Cup to the to the uh, middle of the ice there, and uh, you know it's uh, it's sad to see it go. There's a lot of guys put a lot of effort into building the history, and then it gets passed on to somebody else, and uh, it's still there. So you you know you know that you're part of the building blocks that it takes to to win a championship and have a a successful franchise and now it's just uh, your work seems to be just gone and nobody's taking it over so that's different you know that's a it's kind of hard to take right now Mark Morrison steps off the Salmon Kings bench with his head held high in his five years as head coach and GM he led the team to the playoffs in every season this year was the first time they made it to the West Division final in 07 08 Mark led the Kings to the West Division title the very next season the team made ECHL history going on a 15 game winning streak the second longest streak ever recorded but what's next for Mo? Perhaps this is a fitting ending for the man whose hockey career started with the Victoria Cougars of the WHL just 30 years ago. Um, there's life after hockey for me, that's for sure. I've got uh, um, I've got girls at home, and uh, we uh, I'm going to spend some time, and uh, we'll decide. I'm in no, I'm in no real rush to do anything. I thank everybody in Victoria for the support they gave this club. There's no question, uh, uh, but we'll move on and uh, support a new team. For me, it's not the it's not the second name on the jersey, it's the first name. And uh, people should people should jump on that wagon.